Hello everyone, in the previous class we discussed the various symmetry properties of a given periodic wave. We also discussed the various characteristics properties of the periodic wave for each condition of symmetry. In today's video, we will find out the Fourier series expansion of a periodic triangular wave by examining its conditions of symmetry. So, as we can see from the figure 1, this is a periodic triangular wave. We have to find out the Fourier series expansion of this given periodic triangular wave. So, the first step will be to examine the given waveform for the symmetry conditions. On examining the symmetry conditions, we find that f of t, suppose we take f of t here, then f of t is equal to minus of f of minus t. Similarly, we find that f of t is also equal to minus of f of t plus n t by 2 and f of t is also equal to minus of f t minus n t by 2. So, this given periodic triangular wave satisfies two conditions of symmetry that is f of t is equal to minus of f of minus t. Similarly, f of t is also equal to minus of f t plus minus n t by 2 for n odd only. Now, from the table of symmetry conditions which we discussed in the previous class, we find that this given periodic wave will contain only sign terms and it will have only harm odd harmonics present in its Fourier series expansion. That is the value of a n will be equal to 0 and the value of a 0 by 2 will also be equal to 0 because this is the characteristic properties of such type of wave which satisfies both these conditions. Hence the Fourier series expansion of the given wave contains only b n for all odd n only. We have also seen that when two symmetry conditions exist, then it is necessary to integrate over only one quarter period in the determination of the Fourier coefficients. That is, the value of b n will be equal to 8 by t integration from 0 to t by 4 that is one quarter of the period of f t sin n omega t into d t for odd values of n only. Now, for the given periodic triangular wave, we will find out the value of f t for one quarter cycle. So, for one quarter cycle, the value of f t will be equal to a divided by t by 4 that is equal to 4a by t. So, we will write the equation of f t as 4a by t into small t from 0 less than equal to t less than equal to t by 4. Now, on substituting the value of f t from here in this equation, we find that the value of b n will be equal to 1 by t integration 0 to t by 4 of 4a by t into t into sin n 2 by by t into t into dt and this will come out to be 8a divided by n square pi square into sin n pi by 2 for n odd. On substituting the various odd values of n in this equation, we find that the value of bn will be equal to 8a divided by n square into pi square when the value of n is 1, 5, 9 and so on. Similarly, if we substitute the value of n is equal to 3, 7, 11, 15 and so on, then we find that the value of b n will be equal to negative 8a divided by n square into pi square. Now, substituting the values of all the coefficients that is a 0 by 2, a n and b n in the equation for Fourier series expansion that is f t is equal to a 0 by 2 plus summation a n cos n omega t into d t plus b n sin omega t into d t which is the equation for finding out the Fourier series expansion of any function. On substituting the values of the various coefficients in this equation, we find that the value of a 0 by 2 is 0, 
so we will substitute 0 here this value is also 0 so we will have to substitute only the value of b n and we have found out the value of b n so we will substitute this value in this equation on substituting these values in this equation we will it this equation will come out to be 8 a divided by pi square into sin omega t minus 1 by 3 square into sin 3 omega t plus 1 by 5 square into sin 5 omega t minus well minus so and so on and the final value of f t will be equal to 8 a by pi square into sin omega t minus 1 by 3 square sin 3 omega t plus 1 by 5 square sin 5 omega t minus something and so on and this is how we can find out the Fourier series expansion of any given function.